Hey Pixies! Today we're going to do some fun summer nail art and my hands almost match right now. Um, I did this. I don't know when I'm going to be posting this video but this is for the double dip celebrity nail contest thing that they're doing. So this was Gigi Hadid's uh, I think 24th birthday. It was one of her birthday manicures so I replicated that and this is mixtape from Double Dip and it glows in the dark. There's three dips of it on each hand. And then um, I used the Double Dip gels to apply it. It's a little bit brighter whenever you use dip, dip liquids, um, but I used gel. And um, I did a matte top coat, which is Model 1s. So these are the liners from Double Dip that I used. You can use any gel. You can use gel polishes for this too. Um, you would just need to put them and then use a little brush to pick them up, like a nail art brush. But I went ahead and matte top coated these three. I'm going to do a same colors but different design on this finger. And then I might do like half of this finger. I'm not sure yet. So what I did was I applied the dips did my encapsulation with the gel did my buffing filing and reshaping and um now we're at this point i did not put anything after i buff filed and reshaped on those other two fingers because if you put a gel base down it kind of acts as a it's not quite a blooming effect but it's similar it makes it bleed a little bit more so if you want more crisp lines um i don't tend to put anything down i do have discount codes for double dip pixie 20s 20 percent off pixie 50 gets you 50 percent off the bellavina drill and am mystery gets you a essential dip liquid set for free whenever you get the deluxe mystery box okay i'm i don't know if i'm gonna be able to use that i don't know if i can do this you guys okay hold on let me get situated here i've been trying to do maybe i should just start here first i've been trying to do more nail art with my left hand because i'm hoping if i do more i'll get better at it this has alcohol on it if you could see me right now whenever i was doing that my tongue was out like a little kick coloring okay i think we're okay right now because we are going to like drag through it too so it doesn't have to be perfect i'm just trying to make them as straight as i can and also not get too much product um once i start to put the other colors on i will have to try to work more quickly and that is because they were bleeding just because they're side by side so yeah so i will have to work more quickly once i start to do that <music>
start swiping through it. Okay, so I'm going to start at the edge. I'm going to start at the orange. And I'm going to drag the whole way up. And then I'm going to wipe it off on some alcohol because um, what will happen is the last color you went through will be put where you're starting here. Look how fun that is. I love it. I love doing tie-dye because it's just such a fun and easy nail art to do that looks more complicated than it is. I'm going to go along the side because I want to get that kind of like cleaned up a little bit where we got a little messy with it. Well, not we, me. Get that hair out of there. What the heck? I can't even grab it. There we go. <laughs> of course, that's our cat hair of the video. Drag through. And then, like I said, I like to go right up the side because if you see, I have a little bit of gaps there. And that's just going to kind of clean it all up. And then what you could do, and I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. You could go the other way. I just don't know if I want to or not. My pink at the bottom kind of disappeared. It got overtaken by the orange. I pushed a little too hard there. You don't want to push too hard because you'll go down into it, but it should, by the time we're ready to cure, fill itself in. You just kind of want to drag along the surface and I kind of like pushed into it. And that displaces everything. I'm just kind of cleaning up the cuticle. Put a little bit of alcohol in my brush. Oh, cure 60 seconds. That's really fun. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to do half of our middle finger. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm crazy. I'm going to take this light neon yellow color. Let's move these because I'm going to knock them over. I'm going to do a line down the center. See how I do like short strokes? Um, whenever I'm working on my other hand, I don't always do it that way. Sometimes I'll just go straight up, but since this is my non-dominant hand, I want to try to keep it straight. It seems like if I do those short strokes like that, it helps me keep it straight. And we went right up to that point. So I'm going to cure that because we don't want that. We want that to be separate. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing I did over here. I'm going to do the lines and drag through them, but I'm only going to do it on this side of the nail. <laughs>
Okay. We're okay. <laughs> I cured it for 60 seconds. Now I'm going to go over that line since I got a little bit of color on that like neon yellow line. And I'm just going to touch up that line a little bit and cure it again. <laughs> to top cure it first i'm going to apply my base i'm doing that because this didn't have any gel otherwise i could have kept the tacky layer on everything um but normally i just do a base coat anyway just for good measure so i'm going to apply the double dip base cure 30 seconds and then the model one's matte top coat and cure that for the matte top coat for some reason i have to cure a little bit longer um, I cure it for 60 seconds and then I cure it for another 30. cure 30 seconds i'm going to take that model ones the model ones my lamp the cuticle tools everything that uh, my nail art brushes all of that will be linked down below um the all of those items everything but the double dip stuff is from amazon the double dip stuff is from the double dip website they do have some products on amazon but i don't think that they have any of these products on amazon i do know that they have some of their jelly tips and stuff on there but um i don't i don't think i've ever seen they have some of the powders but i don't think i've ever seen like the gel art or anything like that <laughs> cure 60 seconds and then another 30. <laughs> okay we're all done and let me just show you what we used here real quick because I kind of went over it fast but I used my double dip gels to apply mixtape <laughs> from double dip g3 glows in the dark it's a little sheer so I this is three layers um but it goes on really thin so not bulky and then model one's matte which would be in my amazon storefront and then these are from the original double dip gel line art set but it's not available anymore however if you already have it or if you're looking for something similar they have a glow set which is similar i used a number six number one number five and number eight so we use those and then my nail art brushes i'll have linked for you too. I'm going to apply some cuticle oil and then I'm going to cut the light and show you the glow. Now my nails won't look matte anymore after I apply this. <laughs> my cats are being crazy. <laughs> All right, so I am going to rub this in. I do this multiple times a day. Okay, give me just a second. Well, let's take a look at it first before we cut the lights. What do we think? Do you have a preference one over the other? They're both pretty cool. I might like this one a little bit more because it has more pink. I kind of want ham with the blue, especially on this one, because I was trying to fill in everything. Give me a second, I'm gonna cut the light. Okay, can you see that? It's not totally dark. There's a light in the hallway on, but yeah, it's really fun. <laughs> So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. YouTube will then recommend it to others. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or find me on Instagram at Dipping Pixie. Make sure you're subscribed with your notifications on. I have new videos every Monday and Thursday. That's it for this one, guys, and I will see you in the next one.